Hello YouTube, it's Grosama. And here I have for you today is the Gundam 00 Sky. Uh, basically this is Riku's upgraded mobile suit from his 00 Build Diver Ace. Um, and overall, it's not a bad looking suit. I know I mentioned in the past video that I really didn't care too much about the design, but after building it and kind of posing it up in a few ways, you know, it kind of warmed up to me. So I think overall, I, I don't really have any kind of problems with the uh, the overall posability. I don't have any problems with the design. I think it looks pretty, you know, pretty good for what it is. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and start taking a look at all the details. All right, so we're taking a look at the head. Overall, the head design doesn't really look too bad. Uh, I think I don't I don't really like the width. Uh, how like these like little side ear parts come out that that far out I think that looks a little too off-putting um, but you know the little like red crest right here doesn't look too bad uh, they kind of ditched the whole clear part and they got it a solid piece um, so looks pretty good overall now when it comes to stickers you are gonna have stickers for the eyes you're gonna have a sticker right up there for the top uh, camera and then one if I'm gonna go ahead and remove that backpack uh, you should have one right here on the back of the head if the camera wants to zoom there you go so you should have one right there for the back of the head as well as the eyes and the front camera but with a little bit of paint you can go ahead and paint that up all right so looking at the chest uh basically you know, you're gonna have this nice little green piece right there that covers the scar that is going to be uh located on the inside right inside there but if you paint it silver uh you be you will be able to see the scar without any kind of problem um other than that the uh, you get some stickers for these little black right here uh but i mean that's easily painted so that's all i did i just went ahead and painted underneath those um but yeah those are stickers or supposed to be stickers um so i don't know the body the whole overall torso doesn't really look too bad i think just this part right here from the green piece on down that i don't know this just looks so out of place uh, that could be me though, but just overall, like it, it looks a little bit odd. All right, so looking at the arms, uh, overall the shoulders doesn't look too bad. Uh, I, I like the simplicity of the uh, the shoulders. I mean, it's a lot like the Build Diver. Uh, Build Diver is very very simplistic and just kind of like plain white. Um, you know, the little gray up here in the shoulders doesn't look too bad either. Uh, now these gauntlets, um, they look okay. Uh, I think that. They could have been a little bit better, especially if like, these parts would have opened up in some kind of way, shape, or form, but they don't. Um, but yeah, these little three plugs right here are going to be for plugging in the effect part for the higher than the sky version, uh, which I do have. So um, and when I do that review, you'll definitely see that in action. Um, also, when it comes to the um, these little clear parts, I mean, there's, there's no sticker that goes underneath it. Uh, I just went ahead and painted uh, fluorescent green underneath it to kind of... I don't know, give it a little more emphasis, but it's up to you if you want to go ahead and keep it the way it is, or you want to spray like clear green uh, on the uh, the clear you know the clear piece itself. It's kind of more up to you. Uh, but yeah, the body doesn't look too bad. All right, so we're looking at the waist. Uh, I I do have a problem with these little waist skirts. Uh, these parts just pop off very very easily, uh, but it's due to because I split it in half, thinking that it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, but apparently, if you do split this in half, you're gonna have to reinforce those joints by like um, I don't know, kind of putting some putty on it or putting uh, like super gluing it and then letting it dry and then pop it on to this piece. Uh, but they're really gonna pop out quite often. Uh, I mean, it's nothing that really bothers me. It's kind of like more you know user error than anything. Uh, but honestly, they're not bad. I actually like these front skirts. I think they look pretty awesome. And these uh, blue parts do have a functionality uh, when, you know, I'll show you a little bit later in the video. And the back skirt isn't anything, you know, really too, um, too spectacular. You are going to have a peg right here that's going to have a uh, weapon that plugs right inside there. All right, so we're looking at the legs. Uh, the legs are pretty damn good. I like them. I like the way they look. Uh, even like these little, you know, blue parts that just kind of stand out. Uh, I do like these. Uh, you know, the functionality that they have, I don't think is really that great. Uh, but I do love the feet. Um, I know I know a lot of people were off put it with the feet, but I I, I don't know. I'm kind of just warming up to it, uh, and I really just like the legs. I like the bulkiness of it. Uh, vice, you know how how the legs on the double O diver was like very slim and slender. Um, I like the bulkiness of this, but it's kind of I guess to emphasize you know soccer players. You know how they basically use use their legs in the game so uh i guess that's kind of like what it's trying to show is like hey this is like a soccer player <laughs> mobile suit uh especially when it comes to uh the way he utilizes these little um i guess like shin guards or you know 
whatever these are really supposed to be called but um, the little shin uh, effects are going to be like pretty cool if you're going to go ahead and pose it up in any kind of uh, nice little poses that emphasizes the uses of these. All right, and also these little green parts right here are supposed to be stickers, uh, but I just went ahead and painted those because they're very, very simplistic to paint. All right, so looking at the backpack, overall the backpack does not look bad at all. Uh, the only parts that's going to be, you know, pretty much reused is going to be these little gray parts right here. Uh, but it is going to have, you know, have a lot of mobility, so you can kind of like push them around and everything. And you're also going to have these parts that kind of swivel around and you know are able to rotate. Uh, these are I don't know what the the point of this is. I guess it's just you know to look cool that's just the only thing i can think of like okay it's kind of guarding the shoulders but i don't really know what else these are supposed to be of and uh if it was in the anime i'm sorry guys i haven't really been paying as much attention to the anime so i don't really know about what these are supposed to be for but if they're just you know design purposes and they're just supposed to look cool then I i'm pretty much okay with that now there are no stickers for the little gian uh drives like the little color right there uh, and for the most part, there never has been. Uh, you don't really see uh, stickers going to these little GN Drive, GN Drive parts, but I just think it looks way better with the green. Uh, so I went ahead and colored it. And even though in the guide it shows it's black, uh, which I thought was kind of odd, you know, I just I think this looks better. And all the little black uh, panel line I did right here, I actually wanted to paint that green as well, but I think that would have been too much. So I just left that black and I put the the green right inside there. All right, so next we're going to take a look at the articulation. So articulation is very, very simple. This is just on a little ball joint, so the head's definitely going to be able to rotate all the way around and such. Just be careful because you are going to have these little like mouthpieces right here, and you don't want to snag it up on like the little collar. So just make sure you're you're pretty much bringing this all the way up and then rotating it uh, when you need to. And then for the body, there's not really a waist joint, so you're not going to have that, but it can rotate. Uh, pretty much back and forth about that much. Uh, the back skirt is going to go ahead and hinder it from going all the way around. All right, we're moving the backpack out of the way for the arms. Uh, pretty much similar to the double diver. Uh, this is definitely going to be the same joint right inside here. Uh, and this is going to be on a ball joint inside there. So pretty much all your basic movements uh, from the double diver exist in this kit. And I'm looking at the waist, uh, nothing really too special with the waist. This can go up and go down, as well as the uh, whoops, as as well as the uh, the little side skirts. All right, so we're looking at the articulation of the leg. Uh, basically, going to be the same as the double build diver in many many ways. Uh, the one thing I will say is that the articulation right here in the knee, uh, the little you know separation point, uh, I think that's actually pretty good. Um, if I can go ahead, gotta watch out. There's a little back piece that you want to be careful of. So this piece right here is just going to get in the way a little bit if you don't push it all the way down so just be careful with that but overall um you know like right now it's kind of snagged so i gotta like push it down a little bit and then it'll be able to go ahead and bend all the way like that and then you gotta have this nice little separation right there which i think is is pretty awesome now you're also going to have articulation right here in this little uh, ankle skirt so i don't really know what the significance of this is but hey it can go ahead and rotate uh if you want it to and looking at the foot, basically the foot can rotate back and forth. Going to have some great pivot right there. Now this little part right here can move, uh, you know, down pretty much a little bit. Uh, and also this is going to be able to rotate like so. But that's going to be more for the uh, the form change. And I just popped out the entire leg. And this is also going to come with a open hand. Uh, so whenever you're pulling off some dynamic poses, that's really really going to uh, come in handy. All right, so it does have a form change, which is going to be the last position. Uh, so the simple way you want to do this is just go ahead and flip those little, um, I guess, little shoulder uh, guards out. And then you're going to bring this part uh, out and rotate it to where it's going to go ahead and come down like so. Uh, kind of move the arms out of the way. And then you're going to fold these on the inside like this. And then you're going to take off the sky bracers and so instead of being right here you're just going to move it down like this and it's going to essentially be uh kind of like the main weapon when it goes into this uh form change and the next thing you want to do is flip this part down like so so in this form it actually doesn't look too bad um i think it it, it probably could have maybe had like a few different add-ons or maybe the back uh the backpack can transform completely uh but overall i mean the simple changes that it goes through with the gauntlets kind of going forward as well as the backpack dropping and the feet kind of uh gaining some heels it doesn't really look too bad i think it's a fine fine uh form for something that 
just kind of gives it more mobility and speed although it does drop its power i think just because it's not utilizing the gen drives fully um but overall i think it looks okay so uh this is the form uh basically the lash form and next we have the beam rifle which i do think it looks like a really awesome beam rifle um i don't really know where he got the uh, the parts to make this uh it does it doesn't look anything near uh something the destiny unit uh, might have used but it does look like something that an age unit would have used so i don't know if it was like maybe like i'm not saying the g balancer or anything in particular but maybe like uh the age fx or something i don't know it just kind of like looks like it's an age uh age unit weapon but overall it does not look bad and here it is with the weapon. Uh, overall, I think it looks pretty good. It's a very simplistic, you know, hand, you know, hand rifle. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and utilize this, you definitely can. But if you're feeling that you just don't want to utilize this for uh, the, you know, as the main weapon uh, for this mobile suit, there is a location that you can go ahead and store it. So by simply flipping the little peg piece right here, you can go ahead and plug it into uh, the back skirt like so. Next, what we're going to have is going to be the long rifle. Uh, this is essentially like the Destiny unit. It's going to go ahead and attach onto the backpack, and the front barrel will extend. Then you'll also be able to rotate the cannon all the way forward, like so. And then to extend it, all you need to do is bring this out and then rotate this forward, and you're going to go ahead and snap that right into place, like that. And then lastly, to pull out the little handles, you're going to have one on either side. So just really depending on how you want um, you know, the mobile suit to hold it, you can definitely have two different options right there. And so with the long rifle in hand, this is definitely going to have a lot more firepower than the, uh, what the double O diver had. Um, overall, it doesn't look bad and the functionality that it kind of just like rotates underneath uh, the shoulder, it, it, I mean that's pretty awesome. It's kind of like a really nice combination of double O as well as Gundam Sea Destiny. And the next one we're going to have is going to be the Buster Sword. Uh, so as you can see, it is a foldable sword. And guess where this one's going to go? This one is also going to be able to snap right into uh, the back of the shoulder like that. But that's not where we want it to be stored because we're going to go ahead and use it. So to use this, we're going to go ahead, flip this up right here. Just be careful with this part. I don't want y'all to go ahead and snap it. Uh, but basically, you're going to lift it up forward like that. And then you're going to drop that down. Next, this little part is going to fold out like that. And next, you're going to have this little nice little beam effect part that is going to plug in very, very simply like so. So with the Buster Sword equipped, it does look pretty awesome. And it's going to be really big. So um, it's going to have maybe just the slightest trouble wielding with one hand. Uh, what I noticed is that the poly cams on the, uh, the hand joints is just not really that strong. And oftentimes, the hand is just going to pop out. But... Uh, with both hands pretty much attached on it, it's going to you know, be very, very stable, not going to move at all. Uh, but even with the one hand, if you just get into the right position or just tighten up the joints, it shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. And next, we're going to have two of the hilts for the beam sabers. All we're going to do is remove this front little part right here on the front skirt. And then next, you're just going to go ahead and attach it right here. Now, you will get two beam effect parts. So if you want to go ahead and dual wield, you are more than willing to go ahead and do so. But... Overall, the beam saber doesn't look too bad, and you know, hey, it's a nice little weapon to go ahead and uh, have your kit pose if you don't want to utilize the other weapons. All right, so for the higher than the sky phase, uh, basically you're going to this is the initial setup, so it's going to be like this. This little part's going to come out, and this part's going to be right there. So then you're going to go ahead and raise this part. This one is going to go ahead and rotate like that, and you're going to drop this entire piece like that. And here it is in that mode. Um, I think it looks pretty darn cool. Um, I was a little bit of like, I don't know how I can say it. I wasn't worried, but I was just kind of looking at it in uh, the first episode that it appeared in. And I was like, eh, I was like, it's not really that spectacular. Um, but honestly, if they were like full blown like Destiny wings, I think I would have you know i would not have been as interested because i would have felt that it would have been overkill so with this not being as big as uh, as i really would have thought it would have been um i think it's a little bit more subtle and that's what kind of gives a little more appeal to this mode um so the designs the design is not that bad i think it's pretty cool to kind of combine it with uh the gn drives itself uh but yeah that's pretty much it for all the, uh, the little gimmicks on this kit 
One thing I will mention is that you do see those two little pegs and it's going to come uh, with this little adapter. So if you want to go ahead and plug in uh, maybe a, a different uh, backpack to this kit, you're going to have the adapter to go ahead and do so. And so you do get a lot of extra parts on this runner for the double O diver. Um, I think it's kind of cool because a lot of these parts are going to be clear. So you got like some of the, the little front skirt right there. You got like the uh, the collar. You got the waist or the hip part, um, which I guess uh, ab. And you got like the little front crest, some of the feet. So if you want to paint these uh, a clear color and then put it on there, you definitely can. Especially if you want to go ahead and utilize it for like the Trans Am, um, just to kind of give it a little bit extra. Uh, I guess like style you're definitely more than willing to so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these because I might do something like that in the future and just with a comparison here are both of them uh, directly next to each other uh, so there are some very subtle differences uh, just like the overall color um, there's a lot of parts that are just kind of like uh, a little bit different you got more of the uh, the blue on the feet uh, also the front skirts gonna be a different color so you're not gonna have that uh, yellow in there it is gonna be blue so there's definitely just more blue emphasized on the uh, the double O sky vice the uh, the double O uh, diver unit so I think it looks really cool and I think it's a really great upgrade from the previous mobile suit all right, so what are my final thoughts on this kit? Well, overall, I think, uh, with the pros at least, it is a very nice looking design. I think overall with the weapons, uh, all the accessories that you get for the price tag, uh, it's relatively cheap. And it definitely just pulls off poses extremely well and probably better than most kits coming out nowadays. And also when it comes to posing this kit, you're definitely going to have a great time, much like you probably had with a, a lot of older double O kits or, you know, maybe with the uh, Iron Blooded Orphans or even just some of the other Bill Fighters kits. Now when it comes to the cons, the only thing I can really think of is going to be the hands. Uh, the joints are not going to be really stable and they're going to pop off quite often. Um, the only other thing I could probably think of is if you know how you normally want to go ahead and um, you know cut the front skirt in half. You're really going to have to do a little extra work to go ahead and keep them on because they are going to constantly uh, pop off. So what I would say is definitely utilize some glue, utilize uh, putty or whatever else that you can, and then tighten up those joints, especially on the uh, the hands. Now, is this a kit I would recommend to just anyone? Uh, probably not. I think if you're more into like the double O kits as well as uh, the build divers or just build fighters, maybe this kit's going to be for you. But for the Universal Century guys, uh, you might not enjoy this kit that much. Now the reason I say that is because it's not going to have a lot of the mechanical detail uh, like the Gundam The Origin kits might have, but what it does have is a lot of shelf presence. I think it's going to look fantastic on your shelf uh, no matter what the pose is going to be. Uh, and I think just the overall effects that it does have just looks pretty damn good. So uh, this is something at least maybe as an introduction to the Build Divers line. But that's all for me guys, definitely thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoy these videos, definitely leave a comment, leave a like, and if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe if you can, uh, and as always, just let me know what you guys think about this kit if you've already built it, or if this is something that you plan on building in the future. But that's all for me guys, I definitely appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.